Hey, Chuck Wagon RV here. Uh, not having a good time. Um, drove all the way up. I'm probably uh, 100 miles from the Canadian border <laughs> up in Glacier. And Glacier is closed. They had a, uh, what they tell me, um, they had a, uh, you know, when the uh, snow comes down the mountain, what do you call that? Um, a snow slide, it blocked the road, and it's going to take them two, three weeks to clean that mess up. So I went to a place called Blankenship Bridge. Uh, Blankenship Bridge is you park on the, on the river, and you camp. Uh, and it's one of them 14-day things. And... It's closed because of flooding. <laughs> so Yellowstone closed on me. It's still closed. Um, the, uh, boy, the river's really high. I, I, I agree with them. I, we can't camp here. It's, it's that close to the campground that it's, uh, they've, they evacuated everybody and told everybody go. So everybody's leaving here, and, and me being the Einstein I am, the most intelligent person in my group of one, me, um, <sighs> drove all the way up here to find out it's closed. I can't, uh, can't camp here, so once again, here we go again. Oh, and I did pass a pilot up uh, down the road about 20 miles. I guess I can uh, go to the pilot and just have a good time, I guess, sitting in a truck stop. Let me turn this around and show you. <laughs> of course, I'm in a nice parking spot. It's illegal. No campers allowed in here. There's Chuck Wagon. It's starting to look like a junkyard. It's got crap hanging all over it and stacking up on top of it. And Man, I'll tell you what. Just having a great time. But normally, you can drive your camper right down, uh, right down on the uh, small river that runs through here. Um, there's nobody here because you can't fish. Well, I guess you could try. The river's flowing so fast. Uh, I don't even know where this river begins or ends, but this is the same river that we were camped at on Walmart last night because I couldn't find a campground. Well, that guy over there just put his line in the water and he's catching a fish already. Huh, maybe the fishing's good here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know why they don't let you camp here on this side of the river the other side is nothing but camping but uh, I'm gonna walk down to the river and give you a little shot of the river because it's uh, really moving this is the Flathead River it's at a location of Blankenship Bridge is actually the name of the camping area Blankenship Bridge and uh, if you type in Blankenship on Google, it'll show you this bridge and show you the water. Um, the, I think on the other side of the road, there's a, actually a, uh, there's a place to put your boat in, but here it's all rock. Very, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> uh, that's just, uh, just my luck. Uh, they do a lot of fishing down here. Let me turn this thing around and uh, uh, <clears throat> show you this. This uh, water. That's Blankenship Bridge. It's an old bridge. very old um, two cars cannot 
pass at the same time. Those were the two guys that were parked there that were going fishing. And they haven't been down here no longer than I've been here. And uh, he's already pulled one fish out. Eh, I just, I don't know how to fish. But you see across the, across the river, let me zoom in. There's a clearing and it's all camping down by that river. But with the river running this fast, right where them guys are is the entrance to the campground. And he got a fish. That's the guy that has about a $20,000 uh, camper over there. Catch anything? Nah. Nah, no. the guy just caught one across the way. <laughs> We're always in the wrong spot at the wrong time, ain't the truth? Like that's the side. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's what's going on with me. <sighs> I hate to sleep in a pilot tonight, but uh, gotta find some place. Um, Upriver, about 20 miles, there's another spot that only has five um, campsites. But uh, I don't feel like driving 20 miles to find out. Either it's full or it's closed too, so don't know what to do. Other than get back on the road and figure it out. But anyways, uh, something pops up, we'll talk soon.